the pig get to tripping, then we really finna catch him. Take a breath and stay calm, then remember you on camera. Crooked out to you, it's just a listen blue. No matter what you do, don't let him know you finna sue. I have my legal team download all the footage and review. 90% of these cops are way too dumb to read the rules. Even if you don't get paid, they might take him off the streets. Wait, yeah, what's up, black people? Welcome to another unlawful arrest prevention video. On this channel, we analyze crowdsourced videos in order to educate citizens on the ways that law enforcement officers may break legal protocol while conducting traffic stops or arrests. Our goal is to prepare our viewers, should they end up the victim of an illegal traffic stop or an unlawful arrest, to place themselves in an advantageous position to later bring a civil suit against the police for violating their constitutional rights. These videos are an educational tool. They show the tactics that cops most commonly use during the course of an unlawful arrest, and they show the mistakes victims usually make under pressure. We hope that by better understanding when a cop has stepped beyond the bounds of law and how one should strategically respond, victims of unlawful arrest will be more likely to bring successful suits against police departments and win large payouts. Now, before we get into this video, I have three disclaimers. One, I am not an attorney. Please contact an attorney if you have an urgent legal matter. If you need help finding an attorney in your area, please submit a claim through unlawfularrestprevention.org and we will do our best to help you find representation. Two, unlawful arrest prevention and any videos associated with it are not for the criminally minded. They are intended to help ensure legal recourse for citizens who become the victims of a civil rights violation. Three, never under any circumstances tell a police officer that you are going to sue him or that you plan to sue him during the course of a traffic stop or an arrest. Are you good? There you go. You just all leaned over. Get your license insurance, sir. I, I, I ain't got no license. You ain't got no license. You got an ID card. All right, we can work with the ID card. Now pay attention to what happens next, because this is basically what this entire video is about. Look, I'm stopping you for careless driving for your seatbelt. Yeah, you come flying down Delaware, bumping. I saw you. I was at the gas pump. You was bumping and chilling, ain't have your seatbelt on and come through there flying. Man, you was lapping folks up. You ain't have your seatbelt on, you got the tinted windshield, and you were big chilling, wasn't you? You good, man. Hey, just go ahead and step out for me for a second, okay? Just put your stuff up on the dash. Now, this is something we will talk about repeatedly. The cop approaches the driver extremely friendly and good-natured. All this you were speeding, windows down, bumping your music, big chill and talk is an attempt by the police officer to establish a friendly social contract with the driver that he will break later on. Here it's clear the driver has already done multiple things right, wrong, so speeding, driving without a license or insurance, etc. But having an uninsured or unregistered vehicle is more yeah, common in country parts of Mississippi. As you will see, the officer is falsely leading the driver to think he might let him off with a warning if he is cooperative. Just like him. Anything that's going to stick me, fuck me, or hurt me. Okay. How much marijuana is in the vehicle? No. You sure? So if I search it right now, is there any shake or old roaches or anything like that? Pretty beautiful. At this point, the cop can only legally have the vehicle towed and issue a citation for something like careless driving or driving without a license. He doesn't have the right to search the vehicle unless the driver gives him probable cause. For this guy, the goal should be to avoid an arrest or, if that is not possible, avoid being hit with extra charges. If you are in a similar position, you should always verbalize that you do not consent to a search. When the officer tries to yeah, trick yeah. the driver to admit to having marijuana in okay. the car, the driver don't, does the right thing and says he has none. But then watch what the cop does next. Okay. Did you smoke some weed recently? When did you smoke? About an hour ago. Okay, not a big deal. Look, hold on just a second. Here, come on back here. Hey, there ain't no weapons in there? Okay, look, it's all good. Stand right here. Stand right here. So look, on the scale, look, you fix your shirt, fix your shirt. Fix your pants too now. Come on, we can't we can't even look at scrappy out here. We won't know who might drive by and see you. Alright, look. On a scale of zero to ten, with a zero being you've never smoked marijuana before and a ten being the highest you've ever been from smoking marijuana, where would you say you fall at on that scale right now? Zero to ten. Yes, sir. Zero being you've never smoked marijuana before, ten being the highest you've ever been. Right, just trying to see where you fall out on there. Just make sure you're okay to drive. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're not going to speed this one up because this is important. The police officer tells a blatant lie here. He is not just making sure that this man is okay to drive. He already has no license or registration, so the cops already know that they aren't going to let him drive no matter what. The cop is using this lie to make the driver think that if he keeps the cop happy by not lying to him, he will be allowed to go. What the cop is really doing is manufacturing a reason to arrest and put extra charges on someone that he knows can't afford it. The answer to any questions like this should always be, 
I do not smoke. Make sure the number ain't real high. Oh, no, nah, it might be a one or two, babe. Like, one or two? Yeah, I ain't get bad like this. I ain't a big deal. Here, come on, step back here. Just, like, no, just make sure the number ain't real high. Oh, no, nah, it might be a one or two, babe. Like, one or two? Yeah, I ain't get bad like this. I ain't a big deal. Here, come on, step back here. Just, like, I replayed that moment a few times because it is important to understand what happened there. This is what the cop was fishing for the entire time. When asked how high on a scale from 0 to 10, the driver says 1 or 2. The driver gives a low number because even though he doesn't want to incriminate himself, he also doesn't want to lie because lying would be a break in the social contract that the cop has already falsely established. When cops tell you not to lie to them, it is never because they are planning to give you a break if you are truthful. You're been arrested before? You're been arrested before? Now pay attention to the questioning that goes on next. Once you are handcuffed, even if the cop has a friendly tone, you should not answer any questions until you have a lawyer present. The driver's answer to each of the following questions, since he does in fact have a criminal record, should have been, I prefer not to discuss that. If the cop continued to press the subject, he should have then said, I choose not to discuss that without a lawyer present. For what? Oh, well, I went to, I've been in prison a couple of times. For what? Oh, um, girl. Okay. Sell it, sell it, girl. I don't know. Mm-hmm. What was you selling? Oh, um, cocaine. Cocaine back in there? There ain't no cocaine in there no, right now. You sure? Ain't I, I done changed my whole life with What you do now? I own drive trucks. I believe I own drive trucks. I got me two trucks and my son and my nephew. They be going out there. Okay. You know what I'm I'm speeding up this footage of the search because no words are exchanged and nothing really meaningful happens. Something I will get into later on is the importance of having a camera system installed in your car. This not only provides evidence of an unlawful search, but may be your only defense in the case that an officer plants evidence. And we'll speak more about car camera systems later on. But for now, I want to emphasize that the driver should not have answered any of these questions. I also want to make note of what happens right here as the search is going on. Y'all keep going. Don't stop. Keep going. Sir, don't stop. That's okay. Y'all keep going. Your brother's fine. Stay in the vehicle. You do have to keep going. Yes, you do, sir. Y'all go ahead and go. Listen, if you see a fellow black person being searched or handcuffed, keep your distance but remain close enough to film, in case you need to be a witness later on. Do not let a cop tell you that you have to leave or cannot film. That is not true. In this case, once the car drives away, the situation escalates. The cop knows that no one is watching him. Yes, I can. Y'all go ahead and go, please. Okay. Sir, you can go right now or you can go to jail for fair to comply. You can leave or you can go to jail. I just want y'all to keep going. Pit. I want y'all to keep going wherever y'all were going. Okay, well, he's fine right now. Y'all go ahead and go. 1025. Folks think they helping, they just making things worse. Pay attention to how the situation unfolds next, why it escalates, and why the driver responds the way he does. The cop led the driver to believe that if he made his job easier by being honest, he would be given leniency in return. What the cop does next is actually shatter the social contract entirely by instead making the driver's life many magnitudes worse. Rather than issuing a traffic citation, he arrests the man for driving under the influence of marijuana. This is information the cop intentionally tricked out of the driver. If not prison time, a charge like that will result in barring this man from being legally able to drive. Me today. Uh, all right, I'm gonna let you call somebody to come get you called. Uh, you got stuff on in there? Yeah. Okay. So, 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 be so today you're gonna be coming with me for your traffic violations for driving my license suspended and driving under the influence of an illegal narcotic. I'm under the influence of because, you smoke, because you smoke marijuana, so you can't smoke marijuana and drive. I ain't smoke marijuana. I don't know what you mean. You've already told me you smoke marijuana, man. I I said, yes, I smoke marijuana. Yes. But I ain't smoke. You, I ain't look, smoke. Look, we talk about it later, but right now you can be coming with me, okay? Come on back here. Sir, come on back here. So I'll tell you do it otherwise. All right? Right there's good. Stop. Turn around, face that way. Turn around. Sir, turn around, please. I'm not going to keep telling you. Turn around. Sir, you going to turn around or not? Yeah, Are you going to turn around or not? Are you going to turn around or not? The police officer in this video tricked the driver 
into believing that if he answered the officer's questions honestly and made the officer's job easier, the officer would, in turn, treat him with leniency and not make his life more difficult. I am highlighting this aspect because it is an extremely common strategy that cops use when trying to arrest people. What the driver does next is not smart and will show part of it. As a result, the driver will likely be charged with resisting arrest as well. However, it is important to understand why he does what he does. The cop broke the social contract by pretending to be friendly, only to trick the driver into admitting he smoked weed and then using that information to arrest him. Recognizing that the cop has intentionally led him to incriminate himself and has intentionally decided to make his life more difficult, the driver feels his only way to get back at the cop is by now making his job as difficult as possible. What the f you gonna do to me? M24, Kevin, can you get pipe? You talk to me! You talk to me! I'm gonna take Look, I'm gonna. Ah! 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 You talk to me! You talk to me! I'm gonna let you sit in the seat. No, you talk to me! You ain't let me do nothing, you talk to me! I ain't talking to you! I ain't talking to me! He beat me up! He beat me up, man! My man beat me up, man! The man beat me up, man! The man beat me up, man! Back up! Back up! Back up! The man beat me up! Back up! Yo, back up! Back up! I'm going to jail. There you are. Y'all going to jail. You in too? This thing, when you get here, the two subjects in the are in charge of. They need to go to jail. In 27 k Second Mississippi 1028 can be called John Davis 7692. I had nothing. I did. Man, I had headcuffs on. Did you just beat me up? Man, man, beat me up since I've been here. Man, they beat me up, bro. Man, like he'll jump on the man. Y'all just seen the rest of the man. Now, wow. Uh, 2016, uh, I've got a primary subject like in it. He's yeah. in handcuffs. I can't get him in the car. He's got family with a sugar beer trying to stop me. Like, yeah, I was in the back seat when you beat me up. Yeah, yeah we stayed when we pulled up. Stay down. You had him in the back seat. Me and him. Oh, God, my God. You can breathe. Bro, you got your knee in the thigh, bro. My knee is under your arm. I can't breathe while I'm ready, sir. You're breathing just fine. You should have just sat in the car like I said. Now you beat me up. Shut up. You shut up, you beat me up. It's all on camera. Yeah, it is. You're right. Y'all two are going to jail. I want y'all to know that. I can't affect this arrest until y'all leave. Y'all are going to jail. Hey, sir, I'm letting you know. Y'all can leave. Man, you going to jail? You going to jail? You my boy for leave. You know what you're doing Do you really take my phone to leave me the way you're doing me? You dead motherfucker, man. Man, get me out these bushes, bro. You dead wrong, bro. Man, get me out these bushes, bro. Get me out these man. Get me out The road's going to be on your left. You should see my life. Get me out man. We just passed the water tower. Please, bro. Please get me out this shit, bro. Bro, please get me out this shit, bro. Please get me out this shit, bro. You gonna sit in the car? Yeah, get me out this shit. You gonna sit? You gonna sit in the car? You gonna get me out of here? You gonna stop fighting? Nah, I ain't fighting. Get me out of here. Get me out You get the point, and we'll post the link to the full body cam footage in the description. We hope this video helps shed understanding on some of the common and simple tactics cops typically use on black people to turn a traffic citation into a driving while under the influence and or a resisting arrest charge simply by getting them to incriminate themselves in response to what seems to be friendly questioning. The more you simulate these interactions in your head, the better prepared you will be should a cop try to unlawfully arrest or detain you. If you would like to submit a video or need help finding representation in your state, please contact us on unlawfularrestprevention.org or email us at uap at 
unlawfularrestprevention.org. Gather down hustlers if you still living Come on down, teach you how to be present If you might catch a charge, that's how you can dismiss it If you riding clean, then you already winning It can't work every time, but winning 10 might make millions When police get behind me, I always get to grinning Every whip I drive, got an A camera And before we leave, it's important to make one particular distinction Some people can afford to be stopped by a racist cop Unlawfully arrested And then bring civil charges later In order to win financial damages this is only advisable if you have outfitted your vehicle with at least four interior cameras and some exterior facing cameras that can record audio as well. In this case, act as ignorant of the law as possible. Allow the cop to make mistakes on film. Do not resist arrest, but never consent to a search of your vehicle or a field sobriety test. Remember, you are on camera and then behave accordingly. Other people, especially if they have prior arrests or a warrant, cannot afford to be arrested and charged with anything. Their goal is to act strategically so that any charges brought against them can later be dropped. They should mentally simulate how they will respond if pulled over by the police. The goal is not to incriminate yourself. There are three key things to remember. One, never admit to smoking weed or drinking and never consent to a field sobriety test. State that you will wait for a breathalyzer. Two, never consent to a search of your vehicle. You can simply say, I do not consent to a search of my vehicle. Three, if detained, do not answer anything without your lawyer present.